Hey guys, welcome. I'm Keegan with Seared and Smoked, and today I'm going to show you how to build this Rectech 700 grill table right behind me. Pretty easy. I think you'll dig it. So stay tuned. We're going to pick it up in the framing process right now and take you all the way to the finish line. Okay, so for the framing, we mainly have four units. We got kind of the bottom shelf, which is the main structure. It's approximately six feet long, and it's just basic two by four framing. Use, you know, three inch screws to attach it. And then I have some blocking in there, which is just, it's not really structural. It's just add a little blocking for uh, the quarter inch plywood I'm gonna add to it. And uh, it'll be kind of pieced in, so it'll just keep that a little more strong and stable. So that's the kind of the main structural starting point. And then we have our cabinets on each side. So these are just gonna be the cabinets on each side of the Rectech 700. And now we just need to attach those to the base frame. And then there'll be a shelf in between, which I have right over here. And then here's the shelf that's just gonna go between the two cabinets. And really simple, this is still just basic framing. Um, for the cabinetry, only thing that I did that is not, it's not complicated, but just take some extra tools is I used uh, the Craig pocket hole system. So it just makes attaching these a little easier. You can see the pocket holes there. All right, now it's time to assemble this bad boy. done with the framing everything's gone smooth up at this point it's really solid after you have those three cabinets together everything's really really solid so I'm feeling good up to this point and now we just have to work on the finishing work so we can drop that Rectech 700 in its new cozy little home and uh, get it fired up for smoking again and if you do want plans for this build nailed out dead nuts perfect I have them available on my website seriousmoke.com put a link up there should be there right about now and uh, you can check that out. So, uh, but let's continue the build.
right, so this is kind of the setup for the controller. Since it's kind of an odd shape, I think it's, what do you call that, a rhombus, the shape of it? So what I have set up is this little sled here that will allow me to put the controller on, get it set, and then at that point I can secure it so it's not gonna go anywhere. And probably just put a little blocking on the back side right here so the controller can't move back. And then we have some access doors cut so we can access the, the wiring for the thermocouples and the power and connecting the actual grill to it. So what, all I really need to do to finish this whole setup off is just get drill a few holes here for the power access to the grill, um, connecting the grill to the actual controller and then also the thermocouples. So we're gonna go ahead and trim this area out, drill a hole, and then we should be all set. And the back we're not gonna trim out because that'll be trimmed out from the exterior. And then we're gonna trim out this right side. And we're just gonna use this, this thin, it's cedar, it's a tongue and groove but it's only about a quarter inch or three eighths inch thick. So it's nice and cheap. You can find it in your local hardware stores and it's gonna look good. And you may have noticed that I have some stone just sitting here on the aluminum sheeting. And this is just gonna raise the grill up and up that we can get plenty of air in there. Uh, it's only gonna raise it up about a half inch, but that'll be plenty to get tons of it. It's, the air will be sucking from all sides, so that's gonna work out fine. So we got that taken care of, and then we just need to trim out the exterior with the same cedar material. We got a hole for our thermocouple wire and a hole for the larger power source to the actual grill from the controller. So I'm not sure if I'll use this small one or not, but it's there if I want it. And I kind of cracked the shit out of this board here, but it's fine. We're not really gonna see it. We will move on. All right, it is a lovely day here in Iowa. It is cold out, just balls cold out again. And uh but we're going to continue on the table because my toddler's not around. Uh, so I have a couple hours of free time. So we're going to just see what we can get done. We're going to start probably with the tabletop and getting the controller set as well. Uh, and then we'll do all the trim work and, and closing it on the sides. And then eventually the doors in the front, but that's another day. So time to get back to work.
All right, we're back building the table. It's been a week or so. We got snow melting in the background. It's been terrible, but it's time to finally wrap this table up. So we're gonna attach some doors. If you wanna know how to build the doors, check out my previous video, Green Egg Table Part Two. I'll put a link in the video description, but now it's time to attach some doors, wrap this baby up for the final reveal. Alright guys, welcome back. If you made it this far, I just want to give you a coupon code. If you do want the plans for the table, you can go to searandsmoke.com and use the coupon code RECTECH700 when you check out. That's RECTECH700 and you get 25% off the plans for this sucker. So thanks for sticking with me this long. Let's go ahead and check out the final product. I'm excited to show it to you. Let's take a peek. Alright, this is the finished product with the doors on it. I stained all the cedar, so Everything's looking pretty sharp out here. I can still adjust the doors a little bit, but everything's looking pretty good. A uh, few details I wanted to show you. Uh, running the wire for the uh, thermocouple. I just have that poked out the side. Right now I just have a little foil tape on there to cover up the hole. And then if you still have your the bolts that came with your rack tech, you'll those come in handy to fill in the uh, holes. If not, you can, these are just using the bolts that were holding on the, the wing that hold, held the controller. And then same with the other side. Just saving, uh, those are the bolts that were holding on the, uh, the other side, the, the handle, but I did have to buy uh, some washers and some bolts for the other side. So you might have to do that as well. Other than that, in order to make this a little slimmer and just have it a little nicer look, I bought a hotel pan. Uh, I think this is like maybe the one six size hotel pan. So it's four inches wide and it just fits in there a little nicer, uh, a little more, gives you a little more snug fit. So this gap isn't quite as large. Otherwise you can just make it bigger and use the, uh, the bucket or you can squish down the bucket as well. So that's how I'm doing that. And then you want some sort of uniform stone to elevate the grill off the surface so it's not too hot and you want the airflow to the fan. Um, so everything has been working fine with this setup so far. And here's the side. This is the cheap cedar product. But looking at it, it looks just as good as like a larger tongue and groove product for the moment. So we'll see how it holds up, but I think it'll do just fine. And the back side. Got the electric coming in the side here. This maybe I could figure out a little better solution. I just haven't yet. So I don't know if there's a grommet that might work, fit in there. Um, might play with that around later, but for now it's good. And this is just kind of the cutout for the uh, back grill area. What that looks like. And just try to leave a gap around there in case you need to reach your hands in there for grab loose items, leaves, all sorts of stuff gets behind these things at some point. All right, so I've got everything in there that I've had in my previous tables. So got a few bins in there that just hold some different smoking uh, temperature monitors, things of that nature, charcoal bucket for the green egg, a couple drawers for some wood and things of that nature. And then I like this vertical storage for all your grill grate parts and things of that nature. And then you can also have room for a second shelf up there if you wanted to add one at some point, but got it pretty much full already. 
All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. That's all I got. Subscribe if you want more videos on the rec tech and other smokers here at Sear and Smoke, where food always tastes better outdoors. Thanks for tuning in.